In this video, we're going to go over how to create a histogram on the TI-84. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to enter the set of data or enter your set of data into a list. And to do that, we go to we click on stats then we click on edit. And then we would just enter whatever your list of data is into L1. And so I just pre-entered all these numbers into L1. And then to, so to enter, you just click the number and then click enter and I'll, I'll move on to the next row. Now, to create a histogram, the next thing we're going to do is click second y equals, which is going to activate stat plot. We're going to go to plot one, click enter. We're going to turn this plot on. And then we're going to move over and select a histogram, which is the dirt option. Click enter, select that. Make sure that the x list is L1, the list that you just entered. And frequency, we can keep that as one. And then color, we can, we can just keep that as blue. Then we're going to click zoom right here and go to zoom stat, which is number nine. So you can either click down to number nine and then click enter, or you can just click nine and then we will click enter. And there we go. That's our histogram. So then you can just copy this down to get the data of this histogram or the, the, the values of the histogram. You can click windows and this will show you what the X min, the X max, the X scale, Y min, Y max, Y scale, et cetera is. So we can copy this down. But let's say that we want to do this problem where we want to make a histogram with exactly five classes or five bars. So the first thing to do is just find the range of your data. We're going to take the largest number. We're going to take the, so we're going to get the range. We're going to take the largest number in this data set, which is 74, minus the smallest, the min, which is three. And that's going to give us 71. And then we're going to divide the range by the number of classes that we have in this that we want. In this case, five classes. So we'll do 71 divided by five. And that's going to give us 14.2. Then you round that up to the next integer. So 14.2, we're, we're always going to round up. This is now get, going to get rounded up to 15. And then we can... So then that, that's going to tell us that uh, the class width is 15. Each each of the bars are going to be 15 units units wide. And then to get our min and our max in this window, so actually, let's come over here and then let's change the x scale to 15. And then so for our min and our max, so our min, we can just choose any number that's smaller than our minimum here. So perhaps we want our min to be, to be 2. So that will be our min. And let's come over here and make that two x min. And then to get the, the x max, well, we have the, the width of each bar is 15, is 15. And we have a total of five classes. So we're going to take 15. We're going to multiply by five. That's going to give us a total of 75. So you add that to your min. And so 2 plus 70, 75 is equal to 77. And that is going to be our max. So we'll come over here, change x max to 77. And then the y min, we should just set it equal to 0. And then the y max, uh, we can just set this equal to a whole number like 14. And then we can click graph. And that's our new histogram. So this histogram now has five, five classes instead of the original seven classes. So what if we wanted to create a histogram with four classes? And what would we do? We essentially do the same thing, except we just take the range and we're going to divide by four instead of five. So we'll do 71 divided by, again, 71 was the range. That's the max minus the min divided by the number of classes that we want, four. So 71 divided by four, that is 17.75. We're going to round that up to the next number, which is 18. So we're going to keep min. Let's just let's play around. Let's say... Now, instead of, of two, we're going to have a min of one. We'll just choose a number that's less than the minimum da data value. Then to get the max, we take 18, multiply by the number of classes that we want. In this case, we want four classes. So 18 times four, that is equal to 72. And then the max is going to be the min that, that we have here, plus 72. So that'll be 73. Now let's change that. We'll go to Windows. And x min, we, we said in this case, it's going to be 1. x max, 73. The x scale, which is just the size of the classes, the, I mean, the, the width of the classes. 
dat's going to be 18. And then y, we keep that y min is 0. We'll just keep that as 14. And then let's grab this. And we see that we have our new histogram with four classes instead of five classes.